Chapter One: A Surprise for the Couplets. Matthew Couplet lived with his sister Marilla on the farm on the Prince Edward Island in Canada. Their farmhouse, Green Gables, was just outside in the little village of Avonia. Matthew was nearly sixty and had a long brown beard. His sister was five years younger. They were both tall and thin, with dark hair. Everybody in Avalia knew that couples were quiet people who worked hard on their farm. One afternoon, Matthew drove the horse and a car to the station. Has five thirty train arrived yet? She asked the station master. Um. Yes, the man replied. And there's a passenger who is waiting for you, a little girl. Grandpa Ben and Roger are at the beach. Ben has a spade. He draws a big circle in the sand. Roger puts two shells in the circle. The shells are eyes. Said Roger. Ben puts a red ball in the circle. The balls are not, he says. Roger puts a jump rope in the circle. The jump rope's a map, she says. Look, Grandpa, that's bad. It's a fish. Hello, fish, that's Grandpa. Where's the hair, that's Grandpa. Look, the seaweed is the hair, says Roger. Oh, says Ben. Goodbye, Ben. Rosie and Alex are best friends. Rosie says, "Let's play." Okay, say Alex and Ben. Clark the robot has a slice of pizza. Clark asks, "Can I play?" Yes, says Ben. Lucy closes her eyes. She counts: one, two, three, four, five. Alice, Ben, and Crunk run. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm coming, says Lucy. Where are you? She runs to her bedroom and looks under the bed. Then Rosie opened the wardrobe. I can't see you, Ben," says Rosie. "You are in my wardrobe." Explorers are people who leave their home to discover new places or to learn new things about people, plants, or animals. To learn more about our world, they go on exciting journeys through forests, across hot or icy desert, up mountains. Or down rivers. Do you know about any famous explorers? Do you know what places they explored and why? Where are these places? Thousands of years ago, all the people knew about only a small part of the world. Today, we know a lot more, and some of our information comes from explorers. Explorers have changed the world. Why do people explore? Early people traveled because they traveled around to find food. And water. Most explorers travel because they are curious and want to discover new places and to learn new things. Some early explorers can hope to get rich by discovering new plants, animals, or treasures, and by selling them when they got home. Hi, my name is Bella, and this book's title is Sound and Music, Chapter One: How Sound Moves. Can you speak, sing, or shout? A sound voice moves through the air. Sound goes all over people, and they hear. Sound moves very fast. How do sound moves through the air? The air is made of billions of molecules. The molecules are very small, so we can't see them. The voice pushes the molecules. The molecules move like waves in the ocean. The movements of the molecules are called sound waves. The sound waves from loud sounds go far. The sound waves from quiet sounds don't go far. Chapter two: 
low sounds, high sounds. Some sounds are low and some sounds are high. You can hear low sounds and high sounds everywhere. A plane makes a low sound, but when bursting, they make a high sound. Think about the scenes of a guitar. Sting things make a high sound and the thick things make a low sound. Sting guitar things very fast. You can't see them off. The thick things very slowly. The room was all mirrors, walls, floor, ceiling. There were pictures in the mirrors of trees and flowers and rivers. The pictures moved and danced in front of their eyes, and the room was hot. It got hotter and hotter and hotter. Rahul was thirsty, hot and thirsty, and the rivers in the pictures danced and laughed at him. He closed his eyes, but the rivers still danced. Water, he needed water, but the mirrors laugh at him. Soon, he could not move or speak or open his eyes. He was not thirsty now, just tired, so tired. Oh, Christine, I'm sorry, he thought. I wanted to help you, and now I'm dying. Through a mirror in the war, Christine watched her lover in the torture room. Behind her, Eric stood with his hands on her arms. He's dying, Christine. Dying. Watch him carefully. No, don't close your eyes. Watch him. Christine could not speak. He, she wanted to scream, but no words came. Then she found her voice again. How can you do this, Terry? Why didn't you kill me? In the ocean, there are lots of very small animals and plants called Plankton. The plankton live near the top of the ocean because they need sunlight. Small fish eat plankton. Big animals eat the small fish. Then even bigger animals eat them. So plankton are important for almost every ocean animal. This is called the food chain. Animals that eat other animals are called predators. The animals that they eat are called prey. Most sharks are predators. Sharks can swim very fast to catch their prey. Discoverer! The whale shark is the biggest fish in the world. It's as long as a bus and has no teeth, so it only eats plankton and small shrimps. Lots of seaweed called kelp grows near the seashore. The kelp is a safe home for many fish. Sea urchins eat kelp and sea otters eat a lot of sea urchins. So, sea otters help to keep enough kelp in the ocean for the fish to live in. Ben and Rosie were in the backyard to eat a soccer ball. Ben had only soccer shoes and a jersey. Okay, now try to score a goal, Rosie said to her brother. Ben kicked the ball, but Rosie didn't have to move. She could catch it easily. Ben was too happy. I'm going to uh, play a match for my new soccer team today, he said. But I need better soccer shoes. These aren't very good. I can't play in them. Grandpa was at the door. Who soccer class don't need expensive soccer shoes, he said. Wow, Ethan, that's nice. Ethan, what do you need to be a good soccer player? Do you need some expensive soccer shoes? No, I don't. What do you need then? I just need to practice a lot. Come with me to the bed, Grandpa said to the children. I'm going to take you a fantastic soccer teacher. Great, said Ben. Are we going to a big soccer stadium? Grandpa smiled. You don't have to go to a big stadium to learn about soccer. Why we recycle? Too much waste. In some countries, one person can make about 5 kilograms of waste every day. Where does all this waste go? Most waste goes to a landfill. At a landfill, people put the waste under the ground. Landfills are very big because we make so much waste. Most waste materials decompose. 
They break down into very small pieces. Food waste decomposes fast, but some waste materials decompose slowly. Paper materials take from two to five months to decompose. Some metal materials take from eighty to hundred years, and plastic materials take maybe up to thousand years. Some materials like glass never decompose. We are making more and more waste. We need more landfills, but there's no more land on Earth for landfills. Our waste stays in landfills for too long, and this is bad for Earth. Hello, my name is Ben. Hello, my name is Rosie. This is Grandpa. This is Grandpa's van. It's fantastic. Ben, Rosie's brother, Rosie Ben's sister, Grandpa, Clunk, Grandpa's robot, Alice, Rosie's friend. I'm hungry, says Grandpa. What should, what fruit we have? We have apples and bananas, says Clunk. Here you're no thank you, says Grandpa. I want to eat my favorite fruit today. Rosie is in the kitchen with her friend Alice. What's your favorite fruit, Grandpa? Asks Rosie. Grandpa walks to the door. We can go and find it. Come with me.